Hello everyone, Andrew back here, 4th of April 2021, nice sunny day here in Ireland, happy Easter by the way. Today we're going to do some practice, we're going to transfer two nooks, nook number one, nook number two, into the full size height. What we have here, I have prepared all the parts, what we have here is, it's a raw mesh floor with inspection tray, two dummy boards, root box, and all the rest of bits and pieces there. And I will, will wear that camera in here, so you will see exactly what I'm doing, and I'll show you the frames, and what's, in, what's inside of those two nooks. And there we go. So there we go, I'm not using smoke, uh, some beekeepers suggest smoke into the entrance. I never doing that. I think it's a bad idea. See what we have here. Plenty of bees. All seams are full. This nuke is a little bit too strong. It should be transferred that few days ago but I never got a chance so we see what we have oh very nice now what we can see is this is the cab brood it's a pooper inside and that ready to come out I think in about three four days now inside there you can see eggs Beside it, it's pollen. That yellow and amber and gray thing, it's pollen. That's what they, what the bees bring from the flowers. It's a very same situation here. It's a, it's a cab root. It's a nice patch of, it's about half of the frame. Now it's pollen here and a bit of fresh nectar and that is capped honey. See, I can damage it, it's a honey. So we transfer four frame, four, fourth frame in here. Just shoot the dummy board a little bit. The reason I'm using two dummy boards, uh, the weather forecast, given the cold snap for starts from tomorrow, 5th of <coughs> April. Very cold. Today is about 15 degrees now. Tomorrow is going to be five or six degrees only. So the second frame, I put in completely empty foundation, a little grass there, so wax is not drawn. Of course, I have I have frames with the drawn wax, no problem, and you better use them in the springtime. But as kind of beginner, I will show you from the start. As a beginner, you won't have drawn comb frames. You will only have foundation. So I'll use the foundation. In here, there's eggs in here. Try to get rid of the bees. The eggs are looks like a little long grains of rice. White little grains. That's all cab brood. It's a nice frame of cab brood. There's a big larvae here. And a bit of pollen and nectar around. So that's second frame. So I transferred the nook and I expanded that nook with an empty frame. As I told you on second video, so second frame empty. Now third frame, again, that's a really strong nook. That's all cab brood and the brood came out, started hatched out in, in the middle and there's already eggs in there. Now in here again, cab brood and a bit of pollen around. No queen so far, but there is a presence of eggs, so queen is definitely there. Next frame. Again, this is cab brood, there's some pollen, and there is a larvae here, just about 
from six hours up to 24 hours old that's another nice frame of brood also three frames another fourth frame goes in the middle you can't see the queen so far but she's there definitely but anyway that's frame number four that is the way we rise in nook so there's an empty frame pure foundation not drawing any heat goes in here and the last frame oh now there's a queen that is the queen this one is book fast she's very prolific the second nuke we're going to transfer is the black bee that's complete frame contains only nectar it's very heavy and contains fresh nectar it's mostly from willow and there's some drone see those bigger cells in the middle they slightly bigger size diameter than the normal normal cells that is drone cells so in this nook the queen has no more room where to lay every cell is completely filled it's this should be transferred as i said a few days ago but the way i did get a chance to do it i just transferred now and i show you so this nook is a little bit a little bit too full so two doomy boards now we have to put the rest of the rest of the bees inside here and usually doing this way empty and there's some bees in the feeder as well them all in now the next thing we put in plastic Feeder. it's a little bit windy so the plastic has a hole Hope you can see it so the hole goes right in the middle and then i have to get rid of the, the bees so when i put in the put this feeder in not squashing the bees I can use a smoker to smoke them or i can also do that way right in the middle so I didn't squash any bees happy bees empty super insulation pillow so first of all I have to put 200 grams of syrup in there not more than 200 grams syrup is one and a half sugar to one part of water warm it's really warm that's what they require daily not more than that insulated peel to keep syrup warm and the roof job done the bees starting some of them just see honey in there with the pollen they're not used to the new place yet but they'll get used to it in a few minutes they'll be flying in and out no problem that's their new home so it's very same situation here we have floor inspection tray we have two dummy boards the reason actually i'm using two dummy boards they're giving very cold snaps from tomorrow from monday 5th of 
April up until I don't know 10th or so uh, it's nearly up to minus at night and only six seven degrees during the day so the bees won't be flying so I have to feed those bees <coughs> either daily 150 200 grams or every second day 300 400 grams uh, so that the way to go we just start to transfer to the second nook always walk from from behind uh, when you stand you never stand at the entrance of the of the hive of the nook or of the hive so we put that in same position as the nook was entrance block Yes, and the bees starting to get used to the new place. See, they just didn't recognize the, the new home yet. But they'll smell the brood, so they'll go in very shortly. Very same situation here. It, this nook is a little bit too strong all seams of bees are full there's some bees in here forced frame me so the way you can see what I'm doing it's actually glued with the propolis and wax all those bracings just take all those bracings away because they could damage the queen when you put the frames back in this is the black bee and we don't go the way of a job with this particular queen and we got very good results but there's still a lot of work to be done like swarming and, and things like that this frame contains mostly nectar there are some eggs inside those cells I try to get rid of the bees so the way you can see the eggs Hope you can see the eggs and this side very same there's a bit of pollen and the eggs inside those cells right so that's the forced frame Going that way and we need two empty frames it's only foundation wax is not drawn home second frame full of bees cut brood in the middle that's cut brood and the surround of eggs and uh, part of a uh, honey nectar the fresh nectar and there is the same here cab root pollen a bit of nectar no queen and the frame next frame oh that's nice see the bees are start to hang down the frames and that is a bad sign that means they start think to go on the tree somewhere because there's no more room in this so I hope there's no there's no coops with the eggs because that nuke is a little bit overheld as I said it's should be transferred 
few days ago. No queen on that. <coughs> Oh, the stud, see the way they hang. That's the sign when they start swore. See the way they, they build them box whenever they can because there's no room. And when they hang down like that, like an acrobat, they think to go swarm, but I can't see any coops with the swarm cells yet. So it's nice, cab brood, there's some pollen in the middle, see those cells with the capping sticking out, that's drone brood. I can't see any drones hatched out, I'll show you them later during the season how the drones look like. There's some more drone brood in here. That's frame number three. So those lugs here need to be cleaned sometimes when it's too much of a either wax or propolis in here. So the distance between between the frames is rising. So I usually clean in these lugs. Okay, that's the third one, the third middle one in, fourth one. No swarm cells yet. No queen either. Again, there's a cab brood, and all these cells are full of eggs. And that's cab brood, and that, there's drone brood on top there. That's a drone brood. So there's no can see the queen on this frame yet. Clean those two bars a bit. No, that's it. Now, now the next one. An empty frame. I'm wondering where is our queen. See the way they hang. There is no swarm cells yet. This is very heavy frame. There's some car brood probably from left from the winter. I can't see any queen, but. Inside there, there's lots of eggs. All these are complete with eggs, so they're not not on swarm condition yet. Because if they preparing to swarm, they're not feeding queen as much, so queen almost stop laying eggs or laying very small amount of eggs, and she's getting lighter. That's all full of larvae, so she's getting. Uh, she is getting lighter skinner and she able to fly and that's the way they gonna swarm <coughs> queen which is laying large amount of eggs is very fat she not able to fly I can't see any queen in here Probably in the feeder. It very often happen the queen sits inside the feeder. It's actually drawn in here. It doesn't matter, that's not queen. No, queen is not here. Anyhow. Now, all bees are in. This is empty. Now we look for the queen. She's somewhere here. I hope.
actually she's not here. hiding she's there somewhere try to go through those quickly through those frames again probably oh now there she is there she is oh she's nice brown queen come on that's what she is hiding Right, let her, let her down, right there, so she went in, good job, two doomy boards, so they'll keep the heat, if you use warm way and one doomy board, it's less insulation, with two doomy boards, it's more insulation, and especially for the cold snap all next week, that keeps them keep the heat in now again we need a bit of plastic plastic pillow feeder the same thing it's a hole in the plastic here oops getting a bit windy either right on top of the hole in plastic and the name is super yeah. empty super again syrup best way the best time to put syrup in is the night time well evening time when the bees start stop flying but I just want to show you the way the mount and the way I put so the insulation pillow and the roof and keep your inspection tray say three inches open right uh, Brick on top, job done. So the bees are got, getting used to the new home. So that is it for now. I go and show you those two hives in about a week or 10 days time see what kind of performance they got and uh, do they need any more frames for to rise them at the minute what we are doing is rising those nooks to the full size of the colony so they able to uh, bring the nectar in harvest the honey so that's it for now <laughs>